Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker for the Nintendo GameCube. Alright my friends, welcome back. So we have arrived at the boss door, but we can't currently go through it because we're missing the boss key. So that's what we're going to go and uh, acquire now. Unfortunately, as you can see by the skulls on the floor, not that many people managed to do what we're doing here. Now the reason I destroyed the boulder on the left is because the boulder on the right is uh, hiding a jar that you can use to teleport yourself throughout the dungeon. I'm not really intending on doing that, so... Just throwing that one out there in case you guys need to go back to a previous point, but there is Valu on top of the uh, Dragon Roost Island, pretty much, um, and we have to make our way there. Now there's one of them hook shop holes there that leads to another one. We don't currently have the uh, the grappling hook, so we're going to go ahead and grab that now. But the stairs are falling away. Just freaking hurry up! There we go. All right, now in here, this is like a little gladiator's arena, and. Who would have guessed that Medley would have been captured? Yeah, that happened. Right, come on in. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the epic music though. It's absolutely fantastic. Even like every sword slash creates a beat for the music to go on. It's brilliant. Jeez, these uh, Bacoblins have got terrible aim. There we go. Now, for the first time in this game, um, I don't feel afraid of these things. These are the Moblins. We encountered these at the Forsaken Fortress. Um, I like to call them Pigmen because that's how I recognise them to be. And yeah, they're not very pleasant. They're very... quite harsh, actually, with their uh, spear, shall we say. Yeah, get over there. Alright. Stay away from me, Pigmen. Just destroyed my uh, jars I was going to use to throw at him. Where is he? Alright, so he's, he's down there. He can't do anything about that. <laughs> well, I want to try something here, actually. Let me try this. <laughs> no, alright. <laughs> I thought I would have been clever there. Whoa, look at that jump, man. That was crazy. Sliced off his tail. Screw you. Screw you, you scare the crap out of me in a Forsaken Fortress, but now you're dead. And if you are going to drop one of them for me, which I think you have, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. It's in one of these little sphere things, and there we go, look at that. Pretty darn awesome. This, of course, is a skull necklace, and it's what the Moblins wear. Alright, pretty cool item to get. Uh, we can sell them for a ton of money later on. Uh, a couple of more jars here. I don't really think they have anything in particular other than rupees, but what the freaking hell are you doing, Medley? Yeah, I came to rescue you. There better be a prize out of this. But of course there is. It's a Zelda game, and we always get rewarded for our good deeds, and in this case, it's not the steam coming out of Valu's mouth. It's actually something that we need to... Uh, get around the outside of this dungeon a little bit more easier. Probably guessed already, it's the grappling hook. So, uh, let's go ahead and acquire this. Why the heck she didn't give it to me in the first place, I have no idea, but, um, yeah. She didn't need it. I don't know why she was carrying it around all this time, but anyway, we've got the grappling hook. The Ritos used it before they got their wings, so, you know, it helped them get around a little bit easier. We're never going to grow wings, so we might as well keep hold of this item. Alright. Enjoy your wings. It'd be pretty darn cool to have wings, wouldn't it? I have to admit. One privilege that I'll never get to say that I have. Unless I learn to fly a plane or something. But that's not going to happen in this game, is it? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of the sail just for now. I don't really need that. <laughs> First time, I'm a pro. Did you see that medley? I'm brilliant. Right, so of course, like immediately when you get a new item in Zelda games, you pretty much have to use them straight away. And, um, yeah. You saw, like, literally when we came out of the first door, there was a couple of them poles there. Uh, this is where we are now. But of course, we get to go that way and get the boss key. And it's a little bit uh, tedious because um, we are right by the boss door. It's literally in that door that we just uh, exited through. And it would have been so nice to just go through there, defeat the boss, but we've got something else to do now. Which is exploring the last part of this dungeon. 
I have to say the Wii U version of this game did a fantastic, uh, I don't know, take on the whole grappling hook maneuvering thing because Nintendo updated and uh, improved the control system in this game as well as the graphics and stuff. Um, the grappling hook was a ton better. Get off of there. Um, <laughs> it's like, I'll defend you, brother. Yeah, no, you can go to hell as well. Yeah, the grappling hook was a ton easier. I mean, you could literally move around mid-air. So that's actually pretty cool. We can't do that in this, but, you know, I played the uh, the GameCube version a lot as a kid. Um, just haven't played it that much in a while, so it's quite nice to go back to a classic like this. But what I'm going to do here is destroy the bridge intentionally. Because you can do that. And you can also do that to take enemies off of it as well. There we go. Just drops us down here like that, which of course grants us access to this chest over here. Which just has another joy pendant in it, but why the heck not? We're going to stock up on these. Might see the uh, the woman on wind for Island about that. But we're not done here yet. There is also a door over here. And if you guys remember, we come across this thing. This is like a giant cage uh, that we saw in the first episode of me trying to get through this place unscathed. Uh, we now actually have to destroy all of the ropes on it like that. And try and stay on it if you've got good balance and skills. I mean, it is pretty easy to stay on this thing. But once it's fell down like that, there's a little door opening there like that. It doesn't look like you can reach it, but you can just about. And you've got these little, like, mini platforms attached to chains here as well. So, it's leading us all the way around to the boss key. We do have to go the, uh, you know, I would say the scenic route. But yeah, that's pretty much what we have to do in order to get our boss key. Alright, so that is locked. And of course, you look around, you don't really know what you're looking for at first. But that's why you have to sort of look around and then all of a sudden you see that. Now hopefully I shouldn't have any trouble with uh, those bats because I don't have any long ranged um, weapons to help me uh, defeat them. So we should hopefully be alright. Oh no. There we go. I did not want to fall off there and end up at the bottom of this dungeon. I would have cried for hours on end. Maybe not but it still would have extremely hurt. So in this predicament, with the uh, the Wii U version, you could have just done what I did just then a heck of a lot easier. I've had to stop the uh, grappling hook just to get over there like that so that I could turn around nicely. You can do it all mid-air with the, uh, the Wii U version, so if only the Wii U done better as a console, I would have probably uh, kept mine, but unfortunately it just wasn't doing that well. But I really did love the Wii U version of it, I have to admit. That was fantastic. So in here, as you can see, we have the boss key. So how do we get to that? There is a switch and again another one of these enemies that this time we actually have to face. So let's just go ahead and stun him. There we go, like that. And now you can just pick him up. I hope we're not... Damn it, pick him up quick because he's going to unravel and wreck our shit up. Get the freaking key. Quickly. There we go. Alright. Yeah, because if you leave it too long, they start to unravel and then they just come out again. But there we go. We've got the big key. We gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss is. So, screw you. I'm getting the heck out of here now. <laughs> that doesn't even go anywhere, does it? I was going to say. I thought I was going up to a higher up platform. I was thinking, where does that go? Fire bats? You weren't here earlier. Are they spawning from the lava or something? I'm guessing probably so. Don't know how they appeared here randomly otherwise. Ah, geez, there we go. Alright, so again with this part, man, I wish that the controls are better for the grappling hook because they even sped up the little cutscene of the rope swinging around uh, the pole there as well. Let's just climb up here a little bit more. Right, we have our first boss of the game. I'm looking forward to this. It's a pretty interesting boss as well. I remember seeing it in the uh, the trailer of the game. Uh, really enjoyable as a boss. We will get to that in just a second after I don't die. Screw you! I'm going down here where it's safe. Or at least I think it's safe. <laughs> okay, right, can we get on that before it disappears? I should not hesitate because that's going to happen. <laughs> Sometimes you can't hesitate in this game, seriously. Wow. 
Where did that take me to? The last door I came through? Probably. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Take two on that one. I think I just heard it go up, so with any luck, that will fall down. There we go. Right. Let's do it properly this time. <laughs> Should be getting off this side, I think. Will you... Damn it! Them freaking fire bats. What is their problem? So, of course, now we're back in this room again. I am probably going to take out the fire bats this time because... I don't really want them in my way while I'm trying to make that platform. Ah, he's going to hold off, isn't he? He's going to hold off for the right moment, I bet. Yep, I freaking knew it. Jump on that thing. This is bad. Right, okay. <laughs> don't like falling in the lava, I have to say, because it takes you all the way back to the previous door. Um, I don't mind that in this room, obviously. It's not that far to go, but... I don't know where that last enemy came from. Pretty sure I killed him and his brother earlier. Huh. Alright. Well, back up we go. Valu sounds extremely pissed off. I don't blame him. He's probably going through a heck of a terrible time right now, given what he's going through. Which you'll see very shortly, I'm sure. I can't believe somebody sped run this game in about six hours. I was checking that out on YouTube. I, said, I think I said in the last episode, actually. That is incredible. 100% of the game as well. That's literally... That's everything. That's, that's all the bottles, all the treasure charts. That's everything. I can't imagine doing all of that in six hours. Sorry, guys. Sorry about this. Some of you have hearts in your head. I don't understand how that happens, but it does. Okay, never mind. Oh, I feel guilty for the lone skull. No, there was nothing in them skulls. Okay. That's alright though, because there's a couple of chests and jars over here that we can gain access to now as well. After I take out this thing. No, I haven't got the sword. Screw you. I'm trying to do an instant kill move like that. That's the best way to take care of them guys, really. Hey, dropped a heart. And this is probably just going to be another joy pendant, isn't it? No, this is a Knight's Crest. Wow, we haven't had one of these yet. You get these for uh, defeating, like, um, Dark Knights later on in the game. It's pretty interesting to come across one of them now. We learn a new move later on in the game when we come across uh, a certain amount of those. Orca on Outset Island teaches us something, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I... Uh, get as many of them as I can, including fairies, <laughs> for this boss battle. I probably will not need it, hopefully, but uh, it's always nice to go into a boss battle with one. So I think we're probably good. I do have the, uh, the grappling hook equipped for this. Is that just another fairy? That is another fairy, but I'll take advantage of the free health. And I think we're probably good now. I don't think there's really anything else for us to get here. We've got full health, full rupees, and wow, there was one of them in there. I was actually going to leave that jar. <laughs> I was going to leave that. Don't need the pictograph box, but I'm just going to get rid of the fairy in case I use it when I didn't want to. Alright, let's go and take care of this. Yeah, I'm quite surprised there was a joy pendant in that jar. I was expecting hearts and rupees, but nope. I'll take that instead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this was... Um, shown off in the trailer to the game originally the the first boss encounter and uh, yeah I have to say when I saw this scene for the first time I was amazed because I saw the boss and I was like wow that looks epic I can't wait to fight that thing and of course I'm talking about this thing this is what's been causing Valu a great deal of pain and suffering oh yes right Let's take care of you. So, best way to get rid of this guy then is basically just hook onto uh, Valu's tail when you get the opportunity to, like this. Valu's like, what the heck's going on down there? I don't blame him. <laughs> Jump off and land over the other side. I was trying to land on one of the higher up platforms because that's a little bit safer for us against this boss, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the first phase of this boss battle is actually quite easy. Um, I'm probably going to swing in that 
direction over there, so I'm going to stand over this side. Poor Valu, man, he's in a great deal of pain. There you go. And the reason I've done that is because hopefully the direction that I'll be swinging from now will be onto this little platform ledge up here like that. So the boss can't really do too much to us from up here. We're in a little bit of a safer place. But it's also a good chance to get, you know, rupees and hearts if you need them. Never understood why Zelda games give you rupees in a boss battle. Never understood that, but okay. And this should be it. I think uh, I think this is a three... Um, yeah. I think you have to do this three times. And then the boss goes into phase two, pretty much. It's a free turn first phase, I like to call it. There we go, right. Now we're talking. So now this guy is nearly as pissed as Valu. Now the real fight with it begins, so... Give me that eye. Come here. Oh, jeez, that hurt. That actually hurt. There we go, that was a nice bit of damage. Come back here, there we go. And that is it. Boss battle taken care of. Finished. Finito. Done. Complete. <laughs> First dungeon of the game finished. Which, of course, gains us access to another heart container. And hopefully, Prince Kamali will uh, separate himself from that Din's Pearl that we came here for. That'd be pretty cool. Little mini jump for joy as we're going to increase our health. <laughs> That's a nice thing, always. And thankfully, uh, as with pretty much every Zelda game, we don't have to backtrack to exit this dungeon. We can just take the little warp there for us and just leave the dungeon altogether, but I ain't leaving without this. Another heart container, putting us up to a grand total of four hearts. Nice, let's go! How you doing, Valu? I'm sure you're a lot happier now. <laughs> right, Valu will be impressed, and Prince Kamali will be very, uh, very impressed as well, because he can come up here now and get his wings, do the little trial that he has to complete as a Rito. Yep, that is one, please, dragon. Alright. So, we finished the first dungeon of the game. Pretty awesome stuff. And where are you, Prince Kamali? I have to go and see you now, don't I? Nope. <laughs> Medley brings him straight to us. He's out of bed. No more lazy days for you, Prince Kamali. You're going to have to uh, get up and get on, as they say. Well, you won't be like me because I'll have all the pearls in this game and you won't, so ha! I wouldn't say that, that just that'd completely crush your spirits, wouldn't it? Okay, well, well, it's very nice for Prince Kamali to give him the thing that he values the most. I mean, he did say that his grandma gave it to him as well, so... We got the Din's Pearl! This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. So it's pretty cool that we have that now. There's only uh, two more of them to get, and we can uh, do the next segment of this game. The next big segment, actually, because it's quite a big event. And if I remember correctly, uh, when you complete this game and you play the game again, because you get another uh, playthrough mode, if that makes sense, where you can wear the, uh, you know, the scorpion outfit that you wear on Outset Island for the first time, um, the second playthrough, I think, actually reveals all the uh, the Hylian text and everything in, well, translated English, so you can read all of that kind of stuff, so that's pretty cool. Right, so we are a true hero, apparently. I mean, that, that kind of speaks volume, seeing as we are Link in a Zelda game, of course. Prince Kamali's going to go off and visit Baloo now, and the next time we see him, he will have the best pair of wings ever. 
And Medley's going to go and join him as well. <laughs> Alright. Not a bad uh, first dungeon, I have to say. Very, uh, very interesting with the puzzle mechanics. The boss fight was fantastic. Um, like I said, always enticed me with the uh, the trailer when I first saw all of that. Um, but we've, we're pretty much done now. Dragon Roost Island is uh, finished, actually, for this part of the game. But what I very quickly will do, seeing as we're on the subject of this place, uh, next time I come here, um, I doubt this is going to refresh. And Hey, new guy. Just going to go ahead and do that. That saves us a little bit of trouble later on if we want to go up the quicker way. I don't think it refreshes actually with the boulder, so never mind, but who the freaking hell is this guy? Listen, man, you're not the one of uh, the native islands, are you? Hang on a second, wait, what? My problem is I just have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there and I have a job interview. Alright, well, I've, I've pulled this down now. You must be able to climb one block. I'm smaller than you and I could do it, so I'm sure you'll be perfectly fine. <sighs> Failing that, just bomb everything to get your way up there, that's what I did. Anyway guys, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I know I sure as hell did, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.